It was a very good match today. I was, you know, like I said, I got also, you know, it's tennis, it goes back and forth. We got lucky yesterday. I had a better end against Giannelli, and then also, you know, beating a very good guy, you have more confidence today. I had a feeling I served a lot better today, which definitely made it a lot easier because the other guy had no break chances today at all. That's the messages I've been getting from my friends all day now since I just came off the court. It's like, okay, so you like the altitude. Yeah, it definitely helps. You know, you can also play from the baseline, but it's a lot, from, for me, it's a lot harder to play from the baseline up here. And most of these guys, that, that they want to rally, they want to play back, forth, back, forth, and I probably hit the fence, so I'll, I'll go to the net. Well, the short distances from the net to the baseline, I'm fine, but I don't know if I would, if I would be doing 100-meter sprints against you, saying that's probably not going to be looking too well. The first set breaker was not very good quality. I mean, we both missed a bunch of shots, and it was just kind of a matter of who's going to who's gonna just hang in, and I, you know, I, I got a little bit lucky to win that, I think. And then I actually felt like I played a pretty good second set until I served for it when I got pretty, just pretty anxious and pretty nervous. But again, did a nice job of calming down and, uh, and played a real nice breaker to, to end it. So, you know, it wasn't the best quality, but uh, sometimes those are the best ones to win when you can kind of find a way and fight your way through it. Yeah, I was really lucky to win my first two or three games on my serve. I served, I served so many break points and uh, on his serve, I had no chance. Uh, I was like, uh, I won like one or two points. I uh, managed to, to win this set. And uh, after uh, second set, I was happy because, you know, I, I felt I, I, I find something, a solution to return better. And uh, he helped me also because he was not putting a lot of first serve in. Oh, yeah. It was a pretty close match. Doubles at high altitude is going to be a whole lot of tiebreakers this week. I mean, it's tough to break serve. And we actually managed to break serve, but I sort of donated my serve back. I think if we had won that second set and managed to hold, oh, we would have a good chance in the tiebreak. You know? But sort of uh, no first serves and a double fault or two and sort of got them back in the set. So. I think uh, I had a, well, we had had a total of an hour coming into this uh, match. So I knew, I knew it was going to be tough, and, but obviously being at Kevin's last tournament, we wanted to give it a go, you know, even under, under the circumstances. Um, and yeah, it was close. I mean, just a few points here and there. I mean, uh, I felt I wasn't kind of sharp enough and, and the movement wasn't quite there, but we gave it a match and, you know, 6-6 six, six, uh, six six was, uh, was a close result. After the first set was okay. I was feeling good. But uh, f after f the first set, I started feeling tired and uh, I could not really breathe as, as I would like to do and it, that makes uh, to play more difficult I think and uh, I really don't understand no? it's the second day uh, I'm here since a week almost so hopefully on Friday uh, it's gonna be better <laughs> here it's very tough to return once you you put your first day in and especially mine which is fast it's tough for the opponent to, to return the ball so that's uh, something that I have to, you know, do in the, in the next game, no? To keep going with myself and be focused on that.